Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton for ID People. I'm here at the Wise Media EMEA Summit here in Abu Dhabi, and I'm joined by AP Singh from the Unique Identity Authority of India. Thank you very much for joining me. The, uh, the, the Unique Identity Project in India has, has been running for some time and is, is a huge project in terms of numbers. Give me an update on where it is now and, and which phase you're in. We're just uh, crossing 300 million and doing million a day. A million a day. Okay, that's fantastic. And in terms of in terms of what you've got left to do, a million a day gives you another 300 plus million a year. What's what's the what's the target in terms of what you want to reach? We're looking at uh, wrapping up the first round by end 2014. We should have most of the residents right. enrolled. Okay, and what percentage, when you say most of, what percentage do you think you'll have missing? Maybe 10%. Okay, okay, that's impressive. And the system's been around for a while. What's it been, what's it been used for in terms of delivering services to the, to the residents now? Well, we've uh, been working with the financial services sector, so the banks, and it's probably the first time anywhere in the world that a bank is willing to do an authentication with the help of a third party service mm. provider. So it's outsourcing yeah. authentication which is core to them. Yeah. But uh, that's done a lot for financial inclusion. Then uh, we've also had our uh, program for guaranteed wage program using it. The food subsidy people are using it. Uh, domestic cooking gas companies are uh, using the program. and. Uh, a month ago, the government started a direct benefits program where it's started using Aadhaar or UID for payment of pensions and scholarships. Okay, okay. And the obviously the the private companies using public organisation identity is is quite unusual. But that private public partnership is key to making making the efforts successful. Yeah, it works at two levels. You know, there is a public-private partnership in helping us, you know, put up the infrastructure to enroll people and to roll out our services. And yeah, it works well there. For the rest of it, uh, we put uh, our ID. You know, it's in the nature of a public good which is being provided by the state, and it's accessible to everyone. So right. it can be used by public sector, private sector, and okay. Okay, and that, that openness of the, uh, of the database and, and use, is, is that a trigger to, to encourage people to want to enrol? I mean, enrollment's kind of a two-way thing, isn't it? You need to be able to do it, but they need to want to participate. Yeah, I mean, we've always been conscious of the fact that, uh, you know, people should find it useful to have this identity. But uh, we don't do that by opening our database because it's, as we call it, it's a black hole, nothing which goes and comes out. So when we authenticate a person, we don't give out a data, we just say yes or no, whether the person is who she claims to be or not. Okay, okay, so you have that positive identification. And moving forward, once you've, once you've got past the 90%, and I guess you'll just erode away that last 10%, trying to get as many as possible, what do you see as the next, the next development? What, what's gonna, drive the next stage of the um, of the unique identity? It'll be applications and that's how we've always factored it to be that we'll build a platform, <coughs> we'll have open APIs and you know whoever has a use for ID could be using these services and yeah. so uh, it's difficult to say exactly what it'll be but it you know what we have in our mind is it's probably going to be what m mobile telephony did to the world. Yeah. I mean, everyone thought it's for telephony, but it's you yeah, know it's far so more. more. And, so, yeah. and similarly, in terms of the world of apps, uh, I think what Apple comes to mind that uh, yeah. you know we should have uh, communities building applications all over. Yeah, and all that being supported by a good, solid identity is is fundamental to to people's security and freedom, I guess. Absolutely, and I mean, that's the small role that we have, that mm. provide an ID and provide residents the ability to authenticate themselves anytime, anywhere, yeah. and let the world do the rest. Yeah, it's much more than a small role, and we really appreciate you coming here to talk about it. Mr. Singh, thank you very much for your time. Thanks, thank you. Philip. My pleasure.